what's up guys i hope you're doing well today we're gonna solve our third problem from the 100 challenge uh, it's the number of islands one of the most asked interview questions by google okay so move on to the description so given an m multiplied by n 2d binary grid which represents a map of ones land and zeros water we turn the number of islands island is surrounded by water and uh, is formed by connecting adjacent lands horizontally or vertically you may assume that four edges of the grid are all surrounded by water okay move on to the example so we have a binary grid of ones and zeros uh, when ones represent lands and zeros represents water okay so for this example we have three islands so this is the first island the second island and the third island this format an island because these ones are connected either horizontally or vertically okay so move on to the solution so i came up with a big o of n multiplied by n time complexity and uh, space complexity okay so for this example the idea is to loop through the grid and uh, to test if the element is wrong if the element is wrong we gonna remove all adjacent ones so for this case for this first one we are going to remove this one this one and this one and add one to the final result that's it but the question is how can we like remove all adjacent ones effectively okay so we can use uh, dfs aka depth first search algorithm to do this okay so uh, for this example at the first step we're going to remove this island or like replace all ones by zeros and add one to the final result uh, add the second one at this level and finally add the third one and remove these ones okay and the result would be three let's move to the implementation okay so the first thing that we usually do is to create our solution class and now let's define the main function num islands that takes the grid as parameter and return the number of islands so let's initiate the value to zero and then implement our two nested loops for i in len grid actually in range len grid for j in range len of grid i we need to test if the value is equal to one like if it's a land if grid i is equal to one so we increment the result by the returned value of a function using the dfs algorithm that we're gonna implement next remove islands that takes grid i and j okay let's define our second function using the dfs algorithm using actually the recursive version of the dfs algorithm so it takes the grid as 
parameter i and j. First, we need to test the extreme value, like if i is less than zero or i is a greater than the len of the grid or j is less than zero or j is greater than the len of a grid of i or simply if the it's a water point water point so if grid i j is equal to zero in this case we return zero but uh, there is a problem that if we are trying to access some unreachable points or a, a point out of range so we may need to use a try block to encounter this possible error except okay uh, so after testing the extreme values we just need to like uh, set the value to zero the actual value to zero and call the recursion so we start by up up down right left and finally we just need to return one and this one will be incremented to the final result in case it's an island that's the that's the trick behind so to test we're going to create an instance of the solution class and create a testing grid from the description and finally try to get the result of this grid let's try it exactly that's right so the result for this grid is equal to three and that's the case we we have three islands the first island the second island and the third island uh, let's try to add some random islands so four and try to make it one single island so so these ones an island and then try to link the islands so we will have one instead of four that's it thank you for watching and i hope you liked this third video of the 100 coding challenge if you like it please like and subscribe to the channel bye bye